Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Campus Center today to talk to you about one of the latest trades we got in. This is a 2012 Phoenix Cruiser on a Ford F450 chassis. Now, I'll have all the specs of, uh, specifications and pricing listed below this video, um, but for more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call Beckley's, you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. And remember, I do this to give you an opportunity to take a look at RVs before you come out and see them. And uh, hopefully, for those of you that are in my area, that you do come in and ask for Paul the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this camper. So you see, this is the outside. Nice thing with the Phoenix Cruiser is the fact that you don't have that big overhang. Now, this being on the uh, E450 chassis, that you're going to have, um, you're going to have the V10 motor in here. You have the Diamond Shield package on the front to help with people rock chips. But look at how nice this is—a fully painted coach. You see how nice and large the um, the awning is, and also notice how they painted the top cover of the air conditioner to match the coach. And then, of course, it does have the max air covers for the vents that'll be on the inside. Now something you're going to notice on this particular one also when we get inside I'll show you is that we do have this does have its own leveling system which is virtually unheard of in something uh, this small. So you have your own leveling. Notice how on the back they have the spare tire tucked away quite nicely. Of course, you do have the hitch receiver on the back, good access to the storage, and you have a ladder to get up on the roof, as well as your backup camera. Now, this unit is gonna have a slide out. It's that sofa slide that's on the inside. Of course, being that it is the uh, 450 chassis and so forth, you're gonna have the dual wheels on the back. Slide topper. So let's get on the inside and take a look around. So the first thing you're gonna notice as you go to go inside on this door, you have a screen. It's not, a, it's not the typical screen door. It's one that'll fold out of the way. And you also have an MCD roller shade that will go ahead and block the lighting and make it a privacy for the window. So all you gotta do is this will release and now you have access to coming inside. Now this has just a little over 23,000 miles, only has just under 130 hours on the generator. As you come in the door, directly across the door, this is where you'll check your the levels, turn your generator on if you wish. You can see they put a solar type uh, clock in here and your slide mechanism, as well as a 110 outlet there. Up in the front area there, you're going to see, of course, the TVs up in the front here, as well as cabin space, your uh, DVD player on this side. And of course, this has the Euro recliner, which you're able to move that around if you wish. And then, of course, it has the privacy curtains that come across the front. You have a, on either side and the Velcros in the middle. Looking up in the front area here, of course, you can have the leather seats. Um, of course, you have doors on both sides, electric windows, power door locks. But up in the front here, this is where you're going to see that is your auto leveling system, HWH, which is a higher end. As you can see for the mileage, I don't know if you're able to see that okay, but just a little bit over uh, almost 23,600 miles on this particular coach. AM, FM, CD, stereo up in the front here. Of course, your typical dash that you would have. And then this one does have the rear view camera up here, but you still have your rear view mirror and it's telling you what direction you're going as well as what the temperature outside is. Nice big mirrors on the outside. Let's turn around and take a look and let you get a look at the rest of this camper. So the, what slides in this one here is they're going to be the sofa and the refrigerator, but when they're in, you still have plenty of room to get through the coach. 
Of course, the AC is centralized. You've got plenty of lighting in here. Your kitchen, the nice thing with this kitchen counter is the fact that these, uh, they're the um, covers for both the sink and for, look at how deep that sink is, by the way. And for your uh, two burner cook stop, they're, they're cut in half, making them a little bit easier to move. And then of course, you're able to store it back here and there's little foam there to keep them from vibrating if you have them off while you're going down the road. Of course, you can see your microwave, the storage here on this side. Notice how the heat ducts are up off the floor. They're gonna be blowing across the floor here and in the bedroom area. Then of course, up on the ceiling here, this is where I, you have that one power vent fan and it is thermostatically controlled, temperature controlled if you wanted to. So it has a coverage so you're able to use that uh, if in fact it is raining. Now this has the twin bed option. So you see a twin bed on both sides. One is a little bit shorter than the other. Of course the AC control and the furnace control is right here by the bed. Windows on both sides, as well as storage on both sides. I'll show you when I get back into the bathroom when I turn back around. Of course you have the toilet back here. Great storage back here. You have the water pump switch. And as you can see, really good storage. Plenty of space for the toilet. You got a nice corner sink, uh, a corner shower. And you can see how you have more storage on that side. And you still have, this is a pocket door, but it has for the toilet paper holder and for um, towels. Now looking back up into the front of the coach, as you can see, what you have is a storage on both sides over the beds. And the other vent was here in the bathroom, the other power vent fan. So again, this is the 2012 Phoenix Cruiser. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I hope you uh, like this little tour of this little Phoenix Cruiser. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Love the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing here. Something in particular you'd like me to review for you. If I have it on my lot, I will review it for you if I haven't done it uh, thus far. Or if maybe it's time to do another one. Uh, but um, check out my vlogs on Sunday evenings. And we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care and have a great day.